Hey, Visanta here, and there is a new video that dropped earlier this morning. Uh, Mr. Sakurai presenting the hero from Dragon Quest. I'm very excited for this character because I want to try a new character. Um, without further ado, let's get into this Super Smash Brothers Ultimate video. Uh, that was just a delay. Hello, everyone. I'm Masahiro Sakurai, the director of the Super Smash oh. Brothers Ultimate game from Sora Limited. Let's Long check time how no this see. guy works. The hero from Dragon Quest is joining the battle. And that mm -hmm. means I have some new information Four pro to share with you. Huh? Usually, we prepare a script for Nintendo Direct, and we have editors put various cuts together. But this time, I'd like to take more of a live stream approach. Live stream. Myself. Hey, I also stream on Twitch, FYI, guys. We don't have much of a budget for this. <laughs> While Oops. I discuss, Jokes I'll aside? be playing with the okay. controller as well. I hope you enjoy it. But before we get into it, I should I like mention dragons. that the Dragon Quest series began in 1986. My mouse screen name was like Dragon Warrior Japanese kind of thing. Game. It wouldn't be an exaggeration kind of, kind of to say that Dragon Quest was what popularized like back to Shalja right now. And beyond these that, characters, it's a top-notch game that's become a cultural phenomenon. The latest entry in the series is Dragon Quest XI S, echoes of the Elusive Age Definitive Edition, which is releasing soon on Nintendo Switch. So please look forward to it. Today, I'll be playing the development version of the ROM, so there may be parts where the camera seems different from the version you have at home. Mm. I hope you understand. Interesting. As part of Challenger Pack, the hero draw? Okay. Yeah. Here's a lineup of all four heroes. I think, to some, this scene alone might seem pretty astonishing. This one is the hero from Dragon Quest yeah, that's, that's XI, the one that's releasing soon. The 16-year-old was dubbed the Darkspawn, and he wields a weapon called the Supreme Sword of Light. Now for the hero from Dragon Quest III. This is the hero, Elderic, Earth, right? and he's 16 years old. He's equipped uh, are they all 16 sword. years old? Actually, in 3 and 11, the hero's shield designs are almost identical, but we've changed them up a bit. It's all really? in the details. Okay, interesting. Next. The, the size matter though. Dragon Quest 4, Chapters of the Chosen. This 17-year-old is the ancestor of oh, the this guy's 17 Dragon Quest 5, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. He's equipped with the Zenithian sword. Lastly, the hero from Dragon Quest 8, Journey that sword just goes King, to the ground. An 18-year-old who isn't affected by the curse. Munchie hey, is answer. in his pocket. And as a former royal guardsman, he's equipped with the Dragovian King sword. That said, it may be a bit tough to distinguish them. Maybe that's just, just a weird camera heroes. angle. So if you want to refer to each of them individually, here are their names. The hero from 11S is 11. The hero <laughs> 11 is 11. Is Arusu. The hero from 4 Arusu. is Solo. And the hero from Japanese 8 name. is 8. 8 Solo. You can use these names to reference them if you'd like. Also, okay. they each have a color variation. The coloring and design of these variations are based on characters from the series. There's only two different colors, right? Are. I don't know. This is actually the Japanese very version. first time that the heroes from the Dragon Quest series have been able to fight each other. It was allowed to finally happen in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and for that, I am very grateful. Crap, what was the main engine? Oh my god, so much going on. I don't, I'm trying to look at one person's particular moves. And I'd like to introduce them now. Here they are. Okay, but here's the more detailed. The hero from 11 is Mitsuki Saiga. This hero speaks in 11S, but the action in this game is different, so her voice acting needed a bit more oomph. Hmm. The hero from 3 is played by Nobuyuki Hiyama. You might say the King of Raves is playing the hero, but he voiced Link in the original Super Smash Bros. and Super Smash Bros. Melee games, okay. so you could say he was already a hero. He's okay. definitely a pro, jokes, and out of all the voice actors, his recording session went the fastest. The fastest, huh? Because there's just much of yelling? Or what? <laughs> the hero from 4 is voiced by Takeshi Kusao. He's a veteran voice actor, and asked for a lot of detail on the backstory of his character, and this has carried over into his performance. Okay. The hero from 8 is voiced by Yuki Kaji. I'm not gonna remember all these names, FYI. Voice work for the Super Smash Brothers and the Dragon Quest series, so he was happy to have both dreams come true at once. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The heroes from three, four, and eight are being voiced for the first time in the series. First time. Calling out the spell names is also the series first. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty quick. 
All right, finally, heroes moves. Let's go. Now let's get a look at these fighters in action. The animations are a bit more energetic than the standard sword users, since we aim to match the style of Akira Toriyama. And the down, hmm. down slash is like Little Mac. Sometimes the hero Wait, with that force mesh? Result in a critical hit. All critical. It happens at random, but when it does, you'll perform an extra strong attack. Oh man, is this just like a lottery? These critical huh? hits actually match crit? the look of critical hits in various installments of the series. And you know it's crit. Note the subtle nuances. Oh, damn. Louder sounds. It's equipped with a shield, which can block various projectiles. That's OP. Yeah. Standard. Yeah. Forward tilt is a shield bash attack that can also be used yeah. to block projectiles. Yeah. Uh, uh. His neutral special is the Frizz family of spells. Frizz. Frizzle. Oh, is the longer you charge it? Okay. And for Frizz. Damn! It takes hella mana, You can though. stop your charge in the middle by shielding, and then you can resume charging again. Mm, then you could store the full charge until you're ready to unleash it at any time. I you unleash your first beam, However, yeah. right? Even if you've charged up a Kafriz, nothing will happen if you don't have enough MP at the time, so be careful. Haruk! <laughs> Hero side special yeah. produces zap you, type Oh, spells. you slowly gain it over time. Enter the command quickly for a zap, which is a good way to keep opponents in check. Hold that it down shows. a little longer for a zapple, which has a pretty good reach. And if you charge it up all the way, everything has charge and lose the zap. Damn. Each of these spells imbues your sword with lightning to power up your attacks. It's hella mana though. Next is the Woosh family of spells. I gotta know all the mana mana costs. Performing a short up special results in a whoosh. Charging whoosh. it a little bit results in a swoosh. And swoosh. charging it up all the way results in a kaswoosh. Kaswoosh! Does it even hit anything? Store charge with frizz type spells. A whoosh oh, is fairly you stunning, charge with frizz. requiring you can't do only a little MP. A swoosh actually provides a bit more lateral movement. I see. A kaswoosh allows you to recover even if you fall pretty far. How long you have to charge it though? But if you have no MP, you're screwed, also, right? Also, type spells see. blow enemies into the air. Okay. Only from the bottom, though. Can I use the edge guard? That way, you can interfere with the opponents. Charging his fire. Next is Hero's down special, Command Selection. Command Selection? His down special pulls up a random list of commands. Oh, you see an MP, though. So allows it's random, to though. Spell or other move. Boom simply raises your attack power. It's random. With a fully charged smash attack. You can Damn. Do this much damage. Yeah, I like the RNG aspect. Time to be now RNG! No. It increases the power of your next attack. Next attack. That one duration, this one next attack. The difference between this one and Oom is that it can only be used once. But the effect okay. lasts until your attack finishes, even if you miss. Next oh, up, okay. Bounce. Even you miss it. This it reflects bounce. your opponent's spells and other projectiles. If you both cast bounce, this will happen. Someone will get hit, huh? The effect of the reflect will be exponential. Exponential. Yeah, so you can do more damage, it comes back. Heal lets you reduce your damage percentage. Wow, first Wing character heal. can spread damage to a wide area in front of you. Crackle Slash can freeze opponents. Wait, but then uh, you, gotta, you gotta do hella quick. Accelerator like significantly increases your speed. Random though. Kamikaze? Kaboom sets off a mighty explosive spell. Snooze puts opponents to sleep. That way, you can follow it up with a beefy attack. Maybe Hatchet Man. Like Hatchet Man. God, and there's so there's many. Fun. Oh this my god, there's so many to remember. Potentially KO an opponent in one hit. Wow! However, the opponent's Smack. damage percentage will ultimately determine the effect. So if their damage percentage is low, it's less likely to activate. Zoom. But then you can still crit them though, right? Zoom. This spell is well suited for recovery. That's only if you get, the, if you get it though. From anywhere, but you may hit your head on the ceiling. But the thing is, if you don't get it in one of your icons, you're screwed. When you cast a spell, you become impervious to attacks. 
Oh, you can grab it. Watch out for a metal slash. Metal slash is oh. a skill that can KO a metal opponent. In one metal point. opponent, though. <laughs> Hocus Pocus. When would they be metal? With unpredictable effects. Oh man. Oh, looks like it slowed me down. Rip. But not all of its effects are bad. Sometimes good things happen too. Like what? One hit KO? Magic burst. Damn, 96. My MP is depleting rapidly because the spell uses all your remaining MP to deal massive damage. Oh god. <laughs> the amount of MP you have will determine how effective it is. And finally, Kamikaze. This spell produces an extremely powerful explosion. Curious though. But this also results in self-destruction. He has many different special moves. In fact, of all hmm. the fighters, Hero has the highest number of them in the game. Oh god. Doesn't kill though. Command selection before choosing a spell by pressing the R button. Oh, you have to cancel, way, cancel. Try again and hope for a different set of spells. Damn. Okay. <laughs> That's his final smash, Giga Slash, and it's no mere kazak. This move wow. falls upon all the. It sounds fun to play. Just like, what am I gonna get? Oh, I gotta learn all the moves. <laughs> Frizzle. This attack has a high vertical range, and if it's within four in-game meters, it will connect. Damn, dude. I mean, you know, I don't really play with Final Smashes on, but... See them in action? Okay. Damn, you gotta, like, control the... command selection move is unlike any other in the game. It may be a bit hard to imagine how it works, so I'll fight a CPU opponent for a while. To like quickly do it and then how you select the thing. Just press A or what? I'm fighting at Yggdrasil's altar. I'm the hero from 8 and the CPU is the hero from 4. The stage starts off on this platform which begins to rise. You can use Frizz to keep opponents in check without charging. Yeah. I'll use Zappo from a distance. That's OP, man. <laughs> the CPU's counter attacks are pretty good. I think I'll try a command selection. Snooze. Damn, dude. Good stuff. Kaboom. I'm a little low on MP, so I'm going to attack to refill it. But meanwhile, the CPU filled up their final smash. It's, the, it's, it's like KO. It's like KO meter. Little Mac, but better. Oh my god. <laughs> Not going to let him use it. Oh man, it slimes. Oh, critical hit. Heal. I'll go ahead and use Accelerator. And the final smash. Final smash. Hope I can finish him off. Nice. Oops, I used Hatchet Man, but ended up blocking a projectile with it. There's oh. so many moves, you gotta remember all of them. Platform. Mm. Is he going to do it? Ooh, he got me. Oh, he's dead. He's already on the side of the map, he's gonna die. But he got me. Dead. Yep. And at the edge of the screen, no less. In these free-for-all battles, it's pretty... Oh, the time's up. It's pretty fun to play. Yusha. Did that mean hero? Draz Drazio Altar. This stage is called Yggdrasil's Altar, and it's based on a location in Dragon Quest XI-S. Mm. One difference is that the platform rises, which is very Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a flat Final Destination moving around, around the map, but smaller. We're passing close by Cetacea. After that, we'll be able to see all of Erdrea. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. The giant beautiful. tree in the background is an important point in Dragon Grazio? Quest XI S. You can see a taco walking by. Wait, wait, what? While the taco is out there, some sort of platform will appear. Taco. Oh, on, on... We just on... passed Arborea. 
I was like, I don't see yeah, actual see taco. Like a rainbow bridge. The slime walking around. And now we pass Havens above. Art, art is nice, dude. Dude, I can't wait to try this guy. Oh. You'll see slimes appear in the background, mm -hmm. but sometimes yeah. you'll see liquid metal slimes appear too. Those Taco, are really though. rare. Where? Where's the liquid metal slime? I want to see it. As we Wait. pass Cetacea again, we draw near to the giant tree. And it's like a like a a tour. As we make our way up the tree. The whole world. We can see a light, which also appears in Dragon Quest XI S. Like the world tree kind of thing, yeah. And then we finally make our way back around. By the way, there's something over here. Sometimes a treasure chest appears at this stage, as you can I mean, see don't play. I don't really play with hazards and stuff, you know. If you open it, you items. Get an item. But it could also it be, be mimic. Mimic? Or is this bomb? Okay, it's Ouch. mimic. Hit the opponent though. Or hit anyone. If that's you nearby. try your hardest, you might defeat it. And get the, get the item. Fight it, but if you manage to beat it, get the item. You'll get an item. Gun. Um, Although Yggdrasil's altar is based on the world of 11S, I felt it would be unfortunate to have only one or two songs from that game. So instead, we decided to compile a collection of field and battle tunes for each hero. Here's what it looks like. I just saw I just saw another streamer I'm just lurking there and then they're watching the same thing. I was like, oh wait, wait, what? To pick their favorite ones to play. Of course, you can also enjoy them by using the sound test feature. Oh. You won't be able to select the famous I mean, I have the music on mute most of the time, so we'll play during the hero's victory screen. We've also added other content, including some oh, yeah. spirit board. Spirit board for that as well. Classic mode, of course. They gotta add all Evil these routes, right? Available on Tuesday, July 30th. Wait, that's right now. Wait, what the fuck? If you have the fighter's pass, you should be able to get him. Wait, right when? What? What time? We're also planning to make him available individually for five dollars. What the fuck? Oh man, I need to check We're the switch again. We're also adding in new Mii Fighter costumes. Please take a look. Oh, Mii Fighters, huh? I mean, I don't really use me, so... Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Should I turn on the lights now? While, while I'm doing this? Actually, what is it? Veronica? Is that from Dragon Quest? I mean, are they gonna keep doing X Dragon Quest? Maybe they're gonna change it, it won't be uh... Maybe it won't just be... It's just like suddenly something else will pop up that's not a martial artist. I do can no get a Goku. <laughs> I mean it's like the same Goku gi kind of thing. Lime. Get a slime gun. Oh metal slime. Hey hey hey! I see what you did there. Oh, there's still there's still like three minutes left. Along with Hero, the version 4.0 update will also oh. be available. Oh, what's gonna be in it? Oh shit! New act time limit. Oh, there you can't hold it forever. Time limit on the final smash meter. Ah, oh, so you can't hold it. Harder to use your attack range to play a waiting game, so I think okay. it's better to just use your final smash when it's ready. It will stick around for a while, and you'll be able to tell how long you have by looking at the meter. Mm -hmm, I see, I see the bar. I'm looking at it. <gasps> you have a difficulty. Oh no! We're also I don't... adding a very easy. Oh, very easy. Mode. So if a battle is oh, just too difficult okay. for you to clear, or if you simply I was, want, to I was like, is it one harder than the hard mode that they have? 
Finally, new spectate, please. Another new feature will let you try and predict the winner during spectating. Oh, of course, the betting thing. Then oh, we mix change the points you yeah. accumulate for an item. I mean, we do Even spectate a lot sometimes on the side. Nothing to have the game playing on the side of the screen. I guess I can like predict. No. Do you have time in the middle? Online tourney mode. Okay. An online tourney mode will also be added in. To enter an in-game tourney, all you need nice. to do is select the mode. The rules are preset, but they'll change periodically. I hope you enter these tourneys over and over. I should probably host one, maybe, from time to time. We also plan to hold special event tourneys from time to time. What's more, there are other new additions, like green shots can now be used into the, video the edit. edit video, okay. And being able to consecutively play videos that have been added to shared content. I mean, nice quality of life stuff. Plus, there are new amiibo available now. Oh. Isabel? I thought they would throw like home run contests or something. Come on, I want like some mini games maybe. Each one will be available in a yellowish package. I don't have any amiibos. I don't know if I should get one. Finally, the fighter known as Hero will be distributed soon. But Dragon soon. Quest XI S echoes of an elusive age definitively. He's looking on the side, he's reading a card, huh? September 27th. Your eyes. So please check that out as well. Like, maybe? <laughs> We tried a live stream like format this time, but I'm still not sure if we will do this every time a new fighter is released. I mean, it's easier, right? Regardless, I hope you have fun with Hero. See you next time. Bye bye! Oh, I can't wait to play. Can't wait to play. But, anyways, it's apparently today, it is now 7 33 Pacific time. I mean, PM Pacific time. So I don't know, I'm gonna go check and um, maybe it'll be up by then, maybe not, we'll see. And hopefully I'll see you guys around. Check out my stream, I'll probably link it down below. Description and later days. <laughs>